Moving your website to another host can be stressful. Luckily, if you're moving to Cloudways, they have a Migrator plugin that makes the move very easy. All you have to do is install the plugin on your old website, put in some information about your new WordPress application on Cloudways, and then just test it when it's done. In this video, I'll walk you through all of that. This is a sponsored video, but before you click away, I am actually for real moving all my websites right now from Flywheel to Cloudways. So not only are you getting my honest feedback about my experience, but I also have a promo code that will give you a discount for your first two months. And you'll find that in the description below. So let's get started. In order to transfer your website from your old host to Cloudways, you first need to have a Cloudways account set up with an application launched on a server where you can bring your new website. If you haven't done that yet and you need some help, I did record a video tutorial showing you how to do that and it will be linked in the description below. If you have already done that, make sure you sign into Cloudways because we're going to need information about your server and your application for this process. Next, we have to install Cloudways WordPress Migrator plugin. Now, to do this, you're going to want to sign into your website that you want to move on your old host and you have to sign in as an admin user. And I'm there right now. Mine may look a little different than yours just because I white labeled my WordPress admin. Um, if you want to know how to do that, I have a video tutorial. It's in the description, but it's going to be the same process as yours. Even if your back end of your website looks a little different than this. So to install this plugin, go to plugins and then add new plugin. And you can just go ahead and search for cloudways and hit enter. And then the first one you see should be this Cloudways WordPress Migrator plugin. So click the Install Now button. And then after that's done, you can click Activate. And then that will bring us directly into the Migration Wizard. So go ahead and put in your email address, agree to the terms, and then click Migrate. You do want this to be your email address that you have for your Cloudways account. Next, you want to choose the Cloudways platform you're using. If you follow the tutorial in my description, you're probably on Cloudways Flexible. I am doing a new tutorial soon on Cloudways Autonomous. This is for more intense websites. So go ahead and choose whichever one you're using. For destination site URL, this is going to be the URL of your application that you launched on Cloudways. So go ahead and go back to Cloudways. Go to your applications by going under either Cloudways Flexible or Cloudways Autonomous and then clicking My Applications and then click through to this. And your application URL will be right up here. So you can go to right click and then go to Copy Link Address. Come back over to the Migration Wizard and paste it there. Next, we need your server address. So back to Cloudways and then we're going to scroll down here to where it says public IP and then copy that back to the migrator, paste it here. Next, we need the database name back to Cloudways. Database name is up here. We're going to copy that back to the migrator plugin, paste it there. Next, we need your SFTP username and password back to Cloudways. This is going to be on your server. So you can click servers up here. Click the server where the application is. And we're going to be using your master credentials. So copy the username, come back to the migrator and paste it there. Back to Cloudways, copy the password. Back to the migrator plugin, paste it there. And for HTTP auth enabled, you want to keep this as no unless your Cloudways server and application um, is password protected? And if so, you would choose yes and put your username and password there, but it's probably not. So we're going to keep that no. Next, we're going to answer some questions about the source site. So this is your website on your old host. The first question is, are there any root directories you want to migrate? If you have any non WordPress directories that are not in public HTML, you are going to want to say yes and put those, but you probably don't. So you can just put no. Next is going to ask if you want to migrate any additional database tables. This is also probably going to be a no. And then the last one is, is the site password protected? And again, 
If your source website, if the website on your old host is password protected, this is where you're going to put that information. But if it's not, just go ahead and click no and then click migrate. And right now it's validating the details. And when that's all done, you're going to see a screen like this. And this means that your website is being migrated to Cloudways. How long this takes depends on how big your website is. You don't have to sit here and watch all this on my tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and click pause on my recording and then come back when it's done. And there we go. The migration is complete. Now it is telling you what you have to do now is connect your domain name and enable SSL and then configure your settings. But first I want to make sure that the site moved over all the way. You want to test everything first and make sure it's good before you connect your domain name. Now, when you are ready to connect your domain name, if you need help with that, again, that tutorial in the description is going to walk you through how to connect your domain name and enable SSL. But first let's make sure that everything went through to our application. So go back to Cloudways. And to go to your applications, you can click the www icon right here and then click the name of your application that you just migrated your site to. And then to view your new site, you can click this link right here. And for me, believe it or not, this looks good. This is just the base I use for all my websites. Yours probably looks much better than this. So for you, you're going to want to go through all of your site, click through everything, make sure everything is working well, make sure your emails are working well, make sure your forms are working well. You're also going to want to sign into your admin panel. So if you come back here, you can click this link to get to your admin panel. Now this might be your username and password from your old site. There's a good chance that everything copied over. If for some reason you're not able to sign in with that information, pop back into Cloudways and you should be able to sign in with this information down here. But if for some reason that's not working or if you're having any issues with anything else, Cloudways has great support. So you can always just click this need a hand link here and send them a message. And that's it. You have officially migrated your WordPress website to Cloudways. If I was helpful to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If you're building your own website, make sure to check the description and get your free download of the nine step roadmap to DIY your first website. It will guide you through everything you need to know to make and launch your website from start to finish. Thanks so much for watching.